Hey Taurus, how are you doing? This reading is for Taurus for the week of October the 14th to the 20th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Tauruses? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the three of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What's coming towards you? The six of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What you are focused on is the knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and your outcome is the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, Taurus, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Cups, which is emotionally purging, detaching from a person, place, or a situation that no longer serves your highest good. And here, see how this Knight of Wands is pointing like downstairs? So there could be something in the basement or clearing out the basement. This could actually be somebody who lives in your home. Because the Ten of Pentacles could be like family or a job or some kind of commitment. And there's a tempting offer that is coming in. You see how innocent this child is? This is like innocence, youthfulness, but a little bit of gullibility. So don't take the bait here because this is, look at who's giving you this. I'll give you this opportunity, right? So there's a joker here. Could be somebody who's like a fake friend or, you know, a player. This person could also be a pony. This person is non-committal free-spirited or that's needing for you to be flexible I think I labeled one of your last readings of like who can out stubborn the other person so you could have been waiting to get out of some kind of commitment or there is something about clearing out the basement because see how you're like kind of pointing downstairs this got to this this has to go look at <laughs> this this I want to go this way Present time, you have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is about co-creating with others and collaboration. Teamwork makes the dream work. And you could have somebody who is very flaky, flighty, fickle, there one day, gone the next, Peter Pan syndrome. Or you definitely have somebody who, you know, jokes around. Like, you can't take this person seriously. Or there's an element of needing to not take things so seriously and personally at this time. Let your innocent child out to play. And this is about flexibility. So being more flexible and adaptable. But this is like marching to the beat of your own drum. And this Three of Pentacles is about networking. It means networking with other people, like-minded people. But there's some kind of joker or pony in the mix here. That you're not really satisfied. This person is like unpredictable. And you know, the Knight of Wands is also the travel card. So this person could be at a distance or there is some kind of move or relocation. For some of you, you're moving to a place where it feels like home. Because you know, the Six of Cups is like nostalgic thoughts of the past. Reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun, when times were easy. But you just have to come out of the good old days and ask yourself, is this me anymore? You have to look at all sides of the coin, I guess. So here with the outcome is the nine of cups. Yeah, nine of cups is wishing and hopeful dreaming, but or wishes granted. But there is somebody who is finally taking off the mask and becoming vulnerable. And vulnerability is the bridge to what connection? So you're bridging the gaps. It's either you are becoming more capable, flexible, you know, marching to the beat of your own drum. This can also be eager excitement or you're dealing with somebody who argues for the sake of arguing and you're just like, oh, here they come again, right? And this could be like, um, maybe you're arguing who's going to clean out the basement 
or like some kind of clutter. There's baggage here. Baggage that can't come with you. Yeah, not everything can fit in this chariot. It's too heavy. And the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. And the Page of Wands is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. Or you're networking with new individuals. Anytime I see pages, I think of new blood. But there also could be children in the mix. So you could have like teenagers and you're like, can you do that? And, you know, you give them the task or responsibility and they kind of do it half assed but this is good news here. Good news coming. This could be apprenticeship or a promotion. Or a need for you to think outside of the box. And only seeing things black and white. And doing things like patterns. So patterns, habits, and outdated thinking. So this is seeing limitless with potential. Meaning limitless with 8 billion people on the planet to date. You don't have to date this flaky, flighty Peter Pan syndrome. He needs to go back and play with Captain Hook and the Lost Boys. Set Peter Pan free. There's a new energy coming in here. Or it's a need for you to see that you are limitless with who you can network with. Limitless when 8 billion people on the planet to date whatever here. And then here comes the past. So as you're connecting with something new... Obviously, some kind of past situation is coming up. And the reason why is because the universe is going to question you and say, did you learn your lesson? Did you learn your lesson? So let's see what the Six of Cups is. Six of Cups can also be siblings or somewhere where you've been for a very long time. Could be job and career. Could also be a place of work. And again, I think I labeled the reading, who can out stubborn the other person? So... um yeah, this is like uh, drawing outside the lines. Doesn't have to be perfect. And the Ten of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So there's something old and something new. But here, it's in your blocked and challenged position. So there's a challenge between something old and new. Nine of Swords. Don't overthink it. This is thinking and thinking and overthinking and stressing about a person, place, or a situation to the point where you're paralyzed in thought and can't take action. It's also needing to get more rest and needing to get more sleep. Stress out, frustration. But they're just thoughts. These thoughts are not helpful. It's burning out your energy. And this is thinking, oh my gosh, worst case scenario. Like how can this person show up and that, but you know, there's... In the mix of chaos comes opportunity. And you're like, why am I being offered this opportunity right now? It's because the universe is testing you to see if you're making better choices. Start small. This is my frisky kitty. And there's also an attraction. Somebody is either seeing you as a wish fulfillment, but why do they see you as that? Are you making great money? Did you build something here? Because this is legacy, luxury, commitment, your end-all be-all, your big old house, your white picket fence. This could also be going on for 16 years. And 16 in the tarot is what? In the major arcana. The tower. Some kind of huge realization or revelation or aha moment. I need to dismantle something from my past. Whether it's my old, outdated beliefs, patterns, habits, it's not working. So here, this is fast-moving energy. But this can also be eagerness, restlessness, um, anxiety, or doing something impulsive. So this could be like getting angry quickly at a past situation. So if your default is to get angry, why do you keep doing that? Is it working? People who get angry are trying to control the situation, to gain power over the situation. Just know that. The person who is calm, collective, and has their shish together is the one that has the power. So here, there's something about a past situation or an inheritance or there's finances here. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is. See how this too... It's like this person wearing a mask. 
see, wearing the mask. This kid's blindfolded. Same thing with here. I'm just going to show you this, Taurus. Here's the Joker, right? Here's the Joker giving this big old cupcake to this child. Here's this person. It's like the carrot. So somebody, imagine the carrot, the, you know the carrot in the donkey? When you, when the person carries the um, carrot and puts it in front of the donkey's face and constantly kind of pulls, somebody kind of um, keeps pulling the carrot. So you're never, ever going to catch this carrot. So again, something from your past is going to return. It's a temptation, okay? Or there is something about a commitment, like an old commitment, an old outdated family friend or something like this, a, um, a love, this person is going to reappear, but they're coming back as the same person. This person is still the pony. Or they're just not re dependable, not reliable. But this is new blood. And it's just like, I can network here or a pr um, some kind of an apprenticeship, like a, a course, a class. You're revisiting old plans. It's going to lead to you to the Ten of Pentacles. But here, it's like people keep, or this is a person who keeps putting the carrot in front of your face. You're never going to get attain that carrot. Right? That's why it's in your blocked and challenged position. And the sun. Wow. And the sun is the most positive card in the deck. This is good news. So again, good news. Communication. And it's exciting. You're eager. And here, um, freedom, flexibility joy, happiness, fun in the sun, fertility, or change in location, because this is travel and travel. So you could be traveling to possibly a nice sunny location, or this is what you want. You want more freedom and flexibility to do what you want. And the sunflowers speak of vitality and joy, which equals success. Or this person is an attention seeker. And if they don't get your intention... They argue or there's a big old healing coming in this is also illumination clarity and truth so anything hidden in the dark comes to light for you nine of swords you're worried about it but see the moon's like come on so anything that has been dark um well let's see what this ten of pentacles is in your blocked and challenged position is the ten of pentacles But it looks really, really extremely positive. I just not sure about this person or something about um, a healing, returning to good health and healing and freedom. And the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, there's something new here developing. And for some of you, um, this can be an energy of exposing new baby or birthing something new that you had in the back of your mind. So if you're revisiting old plans, it's a really great time to take action. But for some of you, this is a person putting a carrot in front of your face. You're seeing as like um, some kind of highlight though, some kind of truth here. And here, this is in your blocked and challenged position. And your blocked and challenged position is unconditional love, peace, harmony, tranquility, being by a body of water, and commitment. Someone you who you have a lot of love for or have unconditional love for, like a family, a job situation, queen of swords, Use your discernment here. Something looks too good to be true for some of you here. Take this new path. Because here, it's like somebody's taking their mask off. Okay, if this person is willing to be vulnerable, the vulnerability is the bridge to connection. It doesn't matter what kind of connection. It's like, here I am, warts and all. Okay? So here, it's like putting yourself on the pedestal. Or somebody's putting you on a pedestal because of maybe what you have, what you make, what you're inheriting. Okay, so pay attention to that because this person could be smug, self-centered, self-righteous, 
and only gives you the time of day, or they could be an indulger, a boozer, or they have some kind of like indulgence, overspending, overeating, overdoing it. But you know, the nine of cups is like emotional contentment. It means you create your own emotional satisfaction. Okay. But I don't know what that is. Is this like a commitment? New baby? You could be bringing home new fur baby as well. But Six of Cups could also be like children are involved. And the King of Swords. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And the King of Swords could be a second opinion or getting some kind of great advice or insight. This is also somebody who is emotionally available. And this person is also has the cases of the smarty pants. This could also be a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney, and hearing really good news. So here, don't get restless because it feels like freedom and freedom. And there's an energy here of, for some of you, um, this person wants to be single and free-spirited or that's the need for you to be more flexible because this is a, a need for you to become vulnerable. There's always a naked baby on the sun. And again, somebody taking off their mask. You might think this person is, you know, a little standoffish, cold, emotionally unavailable, but inside them they're, you know, ooey gooey, soft and chewy. And here, this is like a second opinion or getting a second um appraisal or something signing papers or here you have clarity and truth and it's about what is your wish fulfillment here or uh, you are cutting out something that you see as an overindulgent overspending overeating and cutting out the carbs or you have like somebody who's quite boozy six of pentacles reciprocity and, you know, the Six of Pentacles is you know, reaping what you have sown and you've sown good seeds. But there's something about like inheritance or family in your blocked and challenged position or there's new love that wants to come in and something new and exciting. Or there's like a baby. Someone's hiding like a, a baby. Fertility. Because this could be like um, somebody who, you know, gets around. And here, uh, the clarity and truth here. This is also dip um, diplomacy. Stoicism. And emotional availability. I like this energy, this energy. You know, you can take it or leave it or whatever this energy is. Because like I said, this could be like enthusiasm through enthusiasm, freedom, happiness, truth coming to light. Or there's some kind of situation where somebody keeps putting the carrot in front of your face and you think that it's going to be a change. They're not. It's a need for you to pick unconditional love and have unconditional love for yourself by putting yourself on the pedestal. That's how you will get the results you want. And just speak clearly. Coming honestly here. Yeah, King of Swords. Um, second opinion, judge, lawyer, doctor, attorney. Um, you have good news here. This is good news or some kind of new um, opportunity for collaboration. It's pretty big. Some good shish is about to happen. Don't let your issues F it up. So again, your past patterns, habits, outdated beliefs, or if you get angry quickly at people, or say things without thinking. Um, you know, we all have certain vices, right? They broke your heart. So this is what I was telling you. F them. They broke your heart. F them. So somebody is like seeing you come into some kind of wealth or you've generated a lot of wealth, whatever this is. And now, the, and now they want a piece of your pie? Uh-uh. Take an effing trip. Go see some cool shish. Do 
some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. Well, that King of Swords is pretty cool. That person is also um, good at articulating things. Put the effing phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Network. Network and collaboration outside of your comfort zone. Because in your comfort zone, you're only going to get the same results. And for some of you, you have somebody that's coming back around from your past. They see that you're happy or doing well and making really great progress. And hey, stack karma, you will reap what you have sown. You're going to be rewarded from the universe for not taking the bait on a past situation. Allow this Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Cups come in. Teapot. Teapot. And it says deep friendship with someone of the same sex. You could have a younger fire sign around you as well. This person is an outside of the box thinker. So if you are a little bit rigid or stubborn in setting your ways. This person is like, take a, take a stab, take a risk. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. I'm not getting a jealous energy. I'm just getting somebody that um, you have a hard time setting boundaries with. Or you're just tempted by how good looking they are or something. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. Take this person's advice. Because it says deep friendship with someone of the same stack, sex and haystack. Karma. You will reap what you have sown. And advice from a, a friend. And then it says take care of enemies working against you. There could be competition for some kind of like job. But you're getting the news on it. And it says, Ness, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Doesn't have to be blood related though. So here it's like family, maybe helping you out, or it could be anything. Ear, good news. We already knew that. And kite, vacation. Yeah. Reward yourself with the vacation. Bird flying, news is on its way. And then here. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude and step into the new experience. And dagger, fear, worries, intense situation. There could be somebody who wants your money or there's just something about this arrogance because this person could be like boastful, arrogant, cocky. You know, um, they want to be put on a pedestal or something. Something about a pedestal. And it's a need for you to be like, yeah, no, um, the carrot and the horse, you know what I'm talking about. This, this, this here. Yeah. Everything looks good. But yeah, for some of you don't take the bait on a past situation. This person is going to drag you on and drag you on. And it's because they want to be seen with you because either you have status, right? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link and it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.